Yeah. All right, let's talk tropics. There is the wave that we're talking near the Cape Verde Islands. 70% chance of development, but that's days three through seven. So that's out in this area, and then we're talking towards Thursday night, Friday. But that frontal boundary, remember I just showed you with the low sitting on it, that's key because there's another one coming, and they help protect us, pick up whatever's coming and throw it out back out to sea, recurve it. So right now, not organized, but this is the big area of, of moisture that we're talking about. So we'll see the, the forecast models keep it unorganized until really late tomorrow. The European tries to do a little something with it. I think that's kind of early. But notice this is Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday night or Tuesday morning. There's Puerto Rico, St. Martin. This thing's still way out there. Now that would be at least a depression, maybe a tropical storm. And then as we get into about a week and a half from now, we're talking out through Friday, not this one, but next. There it is, northeast of Puerto Rico, and starting to make that curve. The GFS model does the same thing. Timing similar, pretty similar track to it as well, but this is a little bit stronger storm. So we'll see, but right now everything's showing a curve. See all that green right there? That is another cold front coming through to bring nice weather to our friends up north. Uh, not for us, obviously, but uh, it is one of those things that's going to help protect us. So the bottom line is we're not in a threat at this particular point. This is September 10th through the 16th. We're going to start watching for some development and then watch as we get it September 17th through the 23rd. It does look like the activity will pick up as we head into the middle and end of September. Should be, it's been fairly quiet right now. Doesn't mean we're going to get hit. It just means that we'll be tracking a few more of those tropical systems out there.